okay let us see this topic here the standard price the difference between uh, standard price moving average price vendor price and periodic unit price okay is one of the important topic the reason I am uh, going through this topic is because before we do the the topic for price differences during good goods receipt we need to understand what are the various prices that is available in mm and what is the usage okay only then we can understand the the following topic which is this so let us get to our slide i prepared this simple slide to explain the difference between all these four prices standard price is actually an average price <coughs> okay before that um the two things that you need to remember the first thing is these two prices standard prices and uh, moving average price is actually set in the material master let me take you to the material master in the accounting view by the plant okay that means for a different plant I can set a different price you see this the price control and what you have in the price control the two types of price control you have standard price and moving average price which is V okay and the standard price is shown here and the moving average price is shown here okay what this means is that for each and every material I have a choice of between standard price and moving average price to set okay so it is a business decision whichever company that you are implementing this is their decision to actually use uh, 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 a standard price or moving average price for for their materials we don't really question them why they are using uh, standard price or why they are using uh, um, moving average price for certain materials okay it's entirely up to them and and there's another thing that you already remember in the same plant and company code one material may be using a standard price and the other material may be using a moving average price not necessarily all the material should use only one price control they can use different price controls if they want to okay so what is the difference between standard price and moving average price okay as I told you earlier these are two prices which you can set in the material master okay the reason <coughs> the reason why you need to set the price in a material master yeah is because we need to use a price to actually evaluate the quantity the quantity that that is available for this material is six units okay remember we did the MIGO okay once we did the MIGO for six units we will get six units updated in our system let me show you the data entry this is the good goods receipt that we posted right six units so this six units is updated here in the uh, material master quantity and by the storage location you can also see okay is six all right because we posted the the quantity to this storage location remember so that's why you can see six here alright um, okay coming back to this the reason why we need a price in a material master is to actually calculate the stock value the dollar value of the stock so that the this va that value can be posted to a balance sheet okay into a balance sheet account All right the reason why we cannot use the vendor price the vendor supplied price to evaluate our uh, uh, our material is because simply because one of, for one reason each vendor supplies it in a different price so there's no commonality in the vendor prices so we won't know which price to actually use to calculate our uh, material stock value so each vendor has got a different price they are selling in the same material in different prices so we can't really use the vendor price to actually 
uh, evaluate our material but one may ask why can't we when we do a mego we know which vendor and which uh, uh, vendor price that we use to actually perform the good receipt so why not we remember that information to actually compute the stock valuation yes that is possible that's what we call actual costing which comes under material ledger okay in order for that to happen you need to activate the material ledger so that when you buy uh, a material from a vendor the actual price in which the vendor supply the material is recorded in a, a special ledger called material ledger so each and every material that we re receive from different vendors is actually recorded with the actual vendor price in this material ledger and the and end of the day end of the period we can actually do a calculation okay based on the actual price that we bought the material and update the periodic unit price here so that is possible as well but you need to activate the material ledger for that so the V stands for moving average price or periodic unit price but in this case we are not going to use material ledger so we don't really bother what is the actual vendor price that we bought the uh, stock from but we just use the average price okay uh, to be our standard price okay and the other option we have to actually maintain the price for the material is using moving average price so we'll see what is the difference between these two so if you decide to use a standard price okay for material the the users themselves the purchasing department users themselves they will set the standard price for each and every material okay we don't have to actually bother what is the standard price they're going to set the but one thing to remember is so one might be wondering how they come up with the standard price when uh, different vendors are supplying the same material in different price it's good to know how they derive this standard price it's not a ballpark figure it's not a figure plucked from the air it's actually they use this formula let's say the vendor vendor one is supplying the material at seven dollars and vendor two supplying the same material for let's say ten dollars vendor three supplying the same material at five dollars assuming the same material is supplied by different vendors at different prices so in order to come up with the standard price we need to average out this price just compute all the three prices seven plus ten plus five which is twenty two divide by three so I get an average price of seven dollars thirty cents so you can even round it down to seven dollars it's up to you so using the seven dollars I can actually change the price standard price to seven dollars okay this is the way they set the standard price for raw materials in the case of manufactured uh, products uh, they don't actually uh, get the average price from different vendors they actually uh, find the cost of producing such a product and then update the standard price manufactured products are always uh, maintained in a standard price they are not maintained in moving average price it's always maintained in a standard price okay but raw materials in other in other hand is always maintained using uh, moving average price most commonly raw materials are used I will use uh, moving average price but this is not a hard and fast rule as I said earlier it depends on the business on which price control to use okay all we need to remember is a material can use a standard price or maybe an average price and the vendor price actually the price a vendor sells a particular material this price can be found in the info record purchasing info record which is here material purchasing disorder 
mm, master info record display right okay the vendor price is meant is coming from 50 this uh, purchasing info record so that's the explanation about vendor price but the vendor price will not be used to evaluate the stock value only the standard price or moving average price will be used okay I haven't explained how a moving average price is calculated moving average price is calculated using this simple formula when the vendor one supplies the mater material at this price let's say they have supplied about 10 units of this material 10 units so the total value will be $70 and the vendor 2 has supplied 5 units and the total value will be $50 and the third vendor has supplied 4 units so the total value is $20 so once the vendors have supplied these units at these prices so what the system will do is that it will sum up this value here let's sum it up Seventy plus fifty plus twenty, one forty, right? And they will divide by the total stock value in the inventory. So they total up ten plus four, fourteen, nineteen. Sorry, one forty divided by nineteen. So they will get this price. So this will be the moving average price. As simple as that. But if there's already a, a stock balance, so that will be added to this uh, initial total of 140. It is already a stock balance before we uh, buy from these vendors that will be added and then divided by the total units okay in order to derive the moving average price so that's how we come up with the moving average price the average, pri average price is to val evaluate the materials total quantity alright and the periodic unit price as I told you earlier we will not be seeing this because it's a separate module by itself it's a very big module called material ledger you need to activate material ledger in order to compute uh, each and every price the vendor sells a good and derive a uh, actual price for these units so this just for information purposes that we know that we have a periodic unit price okay but if when we use standard price and moving average price for material valuation so how the system which uh, how, how the system will know which price to use to actually update the the stock account and the GRIR account because we have uh, we will be having two different prices okay when we buy something the price found on the material master will be either standard price or moving average price yeah let me show you the price which is maintained here in the material master is five dollars whereas the price in which the vendor is supplying the goods is this fifty dollars so how the system will know which price to use to actually update the stock account or GRIR account let us see if the material master uses standard price okay in our case it is using standard price CS okay as stands for standard price what the system will do is the stock account will be updated with the standard price okay in other words this is the price which is used to uh, time multiply the quantity that we receive and update the stock account let's look at our material document See this?
the stock six times five the our stock quantity that we bought is six units right so six according to this Well, let me explain this in the in this topic let me end this topic here first